As it is widely known, five passengers of the submersible Titan met a tragic fate. The Titan experienced a bizarre and catastrophic implosion. But do you know what happens to the human body during an implosion? Stay tuned uh, until the end, where we will recall some of the bizarre implosions that should have never happened. We will uncover everything here. Have you ever imagined what it would be like to visit the Titanic, the famous ship that sank in 1912 after colliding with an iceberg? Countless people have had that privilege, but for the last five individuals, this unique opportunity turned into an irreversible nightmare. They boarded a submersible called Titan, which promised to take them to the wreckage of the transatlantic ship, nearly 4,000 meters deep in the North Atlantic. But something went terribly wrong during the journey, and the Titan imploded, killing all its occupants. The news shocked the world on June 22nd, uh, in 2023, when the United States Coast Guard confirmed that there were no survivors after an agonizing week-long search. But what happens to the human body during an implosion? Stay tuned and leave a comment about whether you would be willing to embark on such a trip. What is an implosion? Underwater implosion is a highly dangerous phenomenon that can occur when the external water pressure exceeds the internal air pressure inside a vessel. This can cause a sudden and violent rupture of the structure, releasing a significant amount of energy and generating a shock wave. Implosion occurs when the water pressure crushes the hull of the submarine, compressing it inward. The force is so great that it can reduce the size of the submarine by up to 90%. Imagine an elephant resting on every 5 by 5 centimeter piece of the hull. That's the pressure exerted on a submersible at a depth of 3,800 meters. That's why submarines need to be designed to withstand high pressures and have safety systems to prevent leaks or failures. That's why submarines need to be designed to withstand high pressures and have safety systems to prevent leaks or failures. Implosion is the opposite of an explosion. Instead of pressure expanding from the inside out, it compresses from the outside in. The result is devastating. The submarine and everything inside it are crushed by the force of the water. There is almost nothing left of the wreckage and the bodies. Submarine implosions can occur when they dive too deep into the ocean and the water pressure progressively increases. Submarines are designed to withstand this pressure. But if there is any damage to the hull structure, water can begin to flood the vehicle. This can cause an imbalance of pressure inside and outside the hull, resulting in a sudden collapse of the structure. But what about the people inside the submarine? Unfortunately, they have no chance of survival. Former Director of Submarine Medicine and Radiation Health for the United States Navy, Dale Mole, explains that the deaths are likely instantaneous and painless after the implosion. He says that the passengers wouldn't even know there was a problem or what happened to them. It's like being here one minute and then the switch is turned off. You're alive in one millisecond and in the next millisecond, you're dead. When a submarine implodes, a severe structural failure occurs resulting in the collapse of the hull due to the external water pressure. This can be caused by construction defects, component failures, or submersion at depths beyond the submarine's capabilities. The rapid influx of seawater causes the interior of the submarine to flood quickly. This brings a series of serious problems for the people on board. Increased pressure? The entry of seawater dramatically increases the pressure inside the submarine. This can lead to internal collapse of structures, damage to compartments, and accelerated flooding. Lack of oxygen. As water enters, the available oxygen is rapidly consumed. Depending on the speed of flooding and the state of the air facilities, the oxygen supply can be reduced or completely cut off, resulting in asphyxiation. Drowning. The water flooding the compartments increases the risk of drowning for the people on board. They may become trapped inside the submarine as water continues to enter, making it difficult or impossible to escape. Physical Impact The collapse of the submarine structure can result in violent impacts and serious injuries to the occupants. Loose objects can become projectiles, further increasing the risks to the safety of the people on board. Temperature and Darkness As the submarine sinks, the temperature can rapidly decrease, making the internal conditions extremely cold. Additionally, the absence of natural light contributes to total darkness, making orientation and any rescue actions challenging. It is important to note that these are only general and simplified descriptions of the possible events that occur when a submarine implodes. 
the reality can be much more complex and dangerous. The implosion of a submarine is considered an extremely serious event. To prevent such situations, modern submarines are designed with advanced safety systems to prevent implosion and enable quick and safe evacuation in case of an emergency. Crew training and regular exercise drills are crucial to ensure that everyone on board is prepared to handle extreme situations. However, there is always the risk of something going wrong, as was the case with the Titan. One week after the implosion of the Titan submersible, the investigation into the accident is underway, and several questions remain unanswered. U.S. authorities have already taken steps to determine the causes of this tragic incident. Investigators will begin by gathering evidence, including debris from the submersible, which is located 500 meters from the wreckage of the Titanic. In addition, interviews with witnesses will be conducted, and audio recordings from the support ship for the Titan will be analyzed. The wreckage recovery will be carried out by the Odysseus 6K, a remotely operated vehicle which has been deployed to the search site for the fourth time. After the collection of the debris and the analysis of the evidence, the investigation board will hold a public hearing to hear additional witness testimonies. While the board strives to uncover what happened, Canadian investigators have been aboard the Polar Prince to retrieve information from the ship's voyage data recorder, which stores audio from the bridge and other systems that may provide relevant information. The Polar Prince, a support ship, transported the Titan to the dive site, as well as the crew and their families who remained on board until the Coast Guard confirmed the discovery of the wreckage. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, the ROV Odysseus 6K is gathering information on the seafloor to map the debris field of the submersible, which is located approximately four kilometers deep in the North Atlantic. On June 22, 2023, five large pieces of the Titan were found on the seafloor. Each end of the submersible's pressure hull was located in different locations. However, the wreckage recovery will not be carried out by the ROV Odysseus 6K, as the debris is too heavy to be lifted solely by that vehicle. Cables will be used to pull the debris and facilitate the recovery process. The investigation into the incident, which has no set deadline for completion, will encompass all aspects related to the accident. The investigative panel will seek to determine the causes of the incident and provide recommendations to the relevant authorities for the application of civil or criminal sanctions if necessary. But the Titan is not an isolated case in these types of disasters. There have been several instances of submarines experiencing accidents or going missing. Some examples include the Indonesian submarine KRI Nangala, 402 in 2021, the Argentine submarine San Juan in 2017, the Russian submarine Kursk in 2000, among others. However, not all of these cases involved implosion. The Indonesian submarine KRI Nangala, 402, sank with 53 people on board in 2021. There were no survivors. The submarine was conducting torpedo drills when it went missing off the coast of Bali. The 53 on board included 49 crew, three torpedo gunners, and the commander of Indonesia's submarine fleet. An underwater robot photographed the lost submarine lying broken up in three separate pieces on the ocean floor. It sank to a depth of 838 meters, far below the submarine's maximum operating depth of about 250 meters. The cause of the disaster is still unknown, but initial analysis suggested it was due to natural factors rather than human error or technical problems. The Argentine submarine ARA San Juan disappeared on November 15, 2017, with 44 crew members on board. It was only found over a year later, at a depth of 900 meters. The vessel lost contact with the mainland during a journey from Ushuaia, at the southern tip of the country, where it had conducted military exercises, to the resort town of Mar del Plata, 300 kilometers from the capital Buenos Aires. The Kursk K-141 was a cruise missile submarine operated by the Russian Navy and the 11th vessel of the Oscar II class. On August 12, 2000, during military exercises in the Barents Sea, there was an explosion of a torpedo on board the nuclear submarine, resulting in the deaths of all 118 people on board. The government and Navy's delayed response was heavily criticized. As the mission to recover the wreckage of the Titan submarine continues, we remain attentive to the latest updates on the ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, watch this recommended video that involves engineering errors that should not have occurred. And what did you think of this incident? Share your thoughts with me in the comments. 
I love reading your opinions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates and to not miss any episodes like this video and help us grow. Only then will I be able to continue bringing videos to you.